please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Good news. Uh, I think, in fact, that's the Commerce Secretary outlining the numbers. So let's straight away go to it. This request for consultation. Now, uh, as far as our position is concerned, the Article 27 of the agreement also provides for special and differential treatment. At the time that the agreement came into force, countries who were above thousand, developing countries who were above thousand dollars, were provided with with a period of eight years, in order to be able to bring down their export subsidies. We have clearly assumed that the same period of eight years is available to countries as in when they cross the threshold of thousand. Uh, US dollars for that consecutive period of three years. India had in fact submitted a paper to this effect in the negotiating group on rules in 2011. And we have been raising it in that committee every year since then. So this is not something that is a sudden uh, you know, idea. It is something that we have assumed because that is the spirit of the agreement that developing countries who were over the thousand dollar threshold at that time had eight years they also had the right at that point in time uh, one year before the expiry of eight years if they felt there was any reason to continue these subsidies beyond the eight year period to seek a consultation and seek an extension of time for reasons to be justified so these provisions are already there in the agreement on subsidies and countervailing measures. And uh, similar facility, <coughs> as per the spirit of that agreement, should be available to countries as and when they graduate. So this is currently our position. We will engage in the consultation with the United States and uh, place our position uh, before them. And uh, we hope that they would be able to understand that this is uh, take it in that particular spirit. So we we are we will be engaging actively in the consultation process now. The eight years starts from 2015. Uh, it would it would it would begin from 15, 17 when they notified. We came to know in 17, so we have to have some. So, and, and that could be a that could be a point of discussion. That would be a point of discussion. That is a question that she has asked. Uh, while we received the information from the WTO Secretariat in 2017, because they published it with that time lag, so the intimation to India came in 2017. But they say that you crossed this threshold in 2015. Uh, even presuming, we would say eight years from 2017, but this is a point of negotiation. But ma'am, if they don't agree to the new period 2017, I mean, they just say that 2015 you have crossed it, so that will be the period of consideration. Then it's within less You see, the. Less time. You. It, the way the WTO works is it is a membership-driven, consensus-based process. This is a paper that has been placed for consideration in the year 2011. We are seven years on. So a decision and a view has to be taken on that uh, before anyone could take a, a hard position on this. Ma'am, by we will, as you said, uh, meet eight years from 2017 or whatever threshold is agreed upon. Doesn't it also mean that our trade policy per se, ACCs, MEIs, or whatever schemes are being challenged, also now needs to be relooked to, to, to basically be in, con in conformity with WTO norms? This is absolutely fine. This, so you see, the 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 process by which we would move to this would be an eight-year time horizon, where we would look at a review of existing schemes to ensure that they comply with the letter and spirit of uh, the agreement on uh, subsidies and countervailing measures. So we, are, we have absolutely always complied with our commitments at the WTO, and we will continue to do so. But the, uh, the, 
the right which obtains to all developing countries of special and differential treatment is uh, what we rightfully do claim. What are the rules really? like on this 2015 like one thousand dollar uh, per capita? Per capita. Yeah. Per capita. Yeah. Do you purchasing parity? Do you call purchasing parity market rate or what? What rate like this? So ninety ninety rate. Actual calculations based on the prevailing exchanges. It is they they won't use PPP exchanges. Yeah. On this twenty eleven, you said that you had submitted a report on what seeking more time than eight years or what? There was a note submitted to the negotiating uh, group in the rules committee mm -hmm. in 2011 that the phase out period on export subsidies should be eight years as at the time subsequent to the graduation of countries from Annex 7. Because that was the time frame provided to countries on the date the agreement was signed. If you were at 1,000, GNP that at that point of time you had eight years in order to be able to yeah. so the 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 note said this that as and when developing countries graduate beyond this thousand dollars threshold GDP uh, per capita GDP mm -hmm. they this uh, they would have this eight year period so this is a point of discussion that has been reiterated year on year subsequently Um, they have raised it there, which is the appropriate forum to raise it. So, and they have informed us. So they have filed for a consultation process. So we will we will engage in that consultation. Just for our knowledge, ma'am.